What's up? How's everybody doing? Blink, Mbappe. What's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, it. I know things are crazy right now. Hey, yo, unwitness. Remember for eight months, man. That's awesome, dude. Happy, thank you. Happy eight months. It's good to see you here. Uh, today we're gonna be doing something fun. Hopefully, we're gonna be fighting, 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 be fighting, fighting. The Great Grave Lord, the Lich, but not just the normal version. We're gonna be fighting the elite version, the ball and chain version. It's like having a wife. It's no fun for anybody. So, that being said, look at this. Ball and chain ethereal version right here. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun today. Um oh thank you. Thank you. You guys are so nice to me. That's so nice. All right, let's get started in here. I'm going to be using uh, Ben. I'm going to be using every single advantage that I've got to try to take this guy down. Uh, he's going to be difficult, no matter how you do it. So, uh, let's see what we can do, guys. Oh, there he is. Unwitness. Welcome to the Extreme Club, my friend. That gives you a bunch of special extra perks there. Uh, don't forget about that. So, uh, this should be fun. This should be fun. All right, the very first thing we're going to do is we got to get Ben going, right? So, we're going to get a Dart Monkey. Let's build him right here. Nah. Nah. I got a plan. I got a plan, man. We're going to build him right, right about y'all. We're going to build him right about there. We're going to get a bend really, really quickly here. Believe it or not, this is actually a pretty solid dart monkey spot if you can get the range and or the crossbow. Thank you, guys. Not bricks, man. Three months. Sounds good. All right, here we go. We're going to use a bend. We're just going to throw in the bottom corner. Get some extra money. And we got a farm. It's just the, the rule of the world, guys. You gotta freaking farm. Um, good news is we do start on round one here. Oh, look at that. That's so sad, isn't it? Just like spending 20 minutes moving this guy. Just wah, wah, wah. Round four is gonna be a rough one for us, but if we plan this properly. Let's see. Let's get, uh, let's get a boomerang. If we plan this properly. Prop, oh, proper like. We're gonna go boom. Take the go. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. We're going to see if we can figure this out for you guys. Um, <clears throat> this is the elite version, yes. I do need to focus mostly on the game rather than the chat today. So I'm going to do my best to, to, to read out any of the uh, new member things or any donations. But I just want to be honest with you guys. Uh, we do need to focus on this gameplay. All right. So um, my focus is absolutely going to be on farms and farms all day. Uh, I'm not going to use any uh, hacks or anything like that today, guys. Nothing, nothing no cheating. Uh, we just want to get these guys going so we can take them down. So the first plan of action is always to get a farm. The three star, really? Interesting. Um, I am going to be using... I'm not playing ranked today, so we are going to be using this... Uh, Let's see, how do I want to do this guy? We are going to be using the Banana Farmer. Oh, man, on witness. Thank you, dude. Can't wait to see you beat him. I know, we're going to try. I mean, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Um, but uh, we can always do our best here. The main thing is, again, it, it's like every single dollar is going to matter here. So even though I went like kind of early boomerang here, I've got a plan. Um, the... <laughs> Yeah, the three things that we absolutely have to do is focus on popping power with the dart monkey, the boomerang, and of course, that delicious friend over here, the ninja. All three of those guys are going to be our paragon monkeys, and those are going to be how we're going to beat a lich. It's the only, the only strategy that makes sense, right? Because we cannot use um, alchemists, we cannot use villages, we cannot use overclocks, so all of those are just completely worthless. Worthless. So, we have to focus on getting pops for them. Every single pop will actually matter here. I mean, even if it's only a Paragon level or two Paragon levels, it will end up mattering in the long run. So, we want to focus on these as much as we possibly can, right? So, let's do it. Uh, money, though. Money. Absolutely, guys. We need some freaking money. And we need it, like, now. Hey, Virtual Snowman! It's so good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Hey, SJB. Sorry I've not been on recently, but I still check out your videos on a daily basis. You are without a doubt my favorite YouTuber. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Hope you're living the best life. Thank you. With a smiley face. Thank you, man. I'm doing my best. I'm living a pretty good life, but life is busy. 
Life is so gosh darn busy. I mean, it feels weird that, like, I say that when... Um, life isn't... Oh, here we go! <laughs> Sushi is power! Take those guys down. We're gonna have a yellow balloon that's causing some problems here. Oh, man, he just missed. He whiffed. He whiffed on me. That's okay. It feels weird to say that when uh, not too many things have been going on until... Uh, actually, quite recently, actually, but... Uh, now life is hectic, dude. It's freaking all over the place. Here we go. We got another banana farm going for us. Okay, no more whiffing, little boom boom. No more whiffing. I'm focusing on popping power as much as I possibly can with these guys, of course. I think what I need to do is... It's kind of a lot of money. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just go for a, a low level ninja. This is our, our trifecta right here. All right. All in the same locale. The trifecta. The dart. The boomer and the ninja. Get those guys combined together, and uh, you're not unstoppable or anything like that. But uh, it's it's gonna be tough. I am indeed streaming on Twitch, but again, I am uh, uh, normally I'm one of those YouTubers that I really, 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 really enjoy talking back and forth to you guys. Um, but. Uh, oh, look at that garbage. We can't fit an anor farm there. That's going to have to be where our village goes, I think. See if we can fit maybe uh, one, two, three, four, five, six would be ideal. That would be sweet. But I am focusing on the gameplay today, guys. So a little less chat than usual, of course. Any donations? Oh, my God. I'm going to make sure I reach out to you guys and say thank you so, so much. But, uh, again, focusing on the gameplay, my friends. And, of course, Virtual Snowman, man. Thank you again so much, dude. That's so kind of you. Seriously, hardcore, dude. Hardcore! Hardcore, parkour. Thank you. Uh, we will not be doing any buffs today. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, gosh, yeah. I was building farms on the bottom right, and then I put Ben over here, and I'm like, I can't do that. And then I was thinking, like, maybe on the bottom left over here could work, because I don't want to build them near the pot. So I don't know which way. I don't know exactly where they're supposed to go. That's, that's going to be honest here. Um, but I do want to get... Oh, no. No! I thought I could fail one more over here. We're going to have to go for one over here, I think. This one's not going to be too bad. And I don't think I want to go for one down there. If I do, if I'm going to go for some sort of bottom path banana farm, maybe. All right, so popping power, guys. We're starting to get to the point where we're starting to struggle um, with what we currently have. And... Uh, I'm trying to think about what kind of popping power I want to get. I can get a cheap military. I can go for a cheap heli or a cheap uh, monkey ace. My best bet's probably... All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for the dartling gun. I want to put them all right next to each other for now. And uh, don't forget about that. Oh, my God, another yellow balloon about trying to sneak through right there, guys. Whoo! Whoo! Hot diggity dough. <laughs> all right. Well, this is painful. Seven, seven farms. Really, dude? Oh, yeah. You got the frog pond. All right. We'll have to give it a shot. I think it's uh, about that time, guys. Let's go for our... Mm, let's try to get one more banana farm somewhere. You know, even if it's not freaking perfect, let's do let's do this. All right, it's a little risky, but uh, we're gonna go for a quick marketplace. I'm still gonna try to get my. Oh my goodness, you guys are crazy. Here we go, marketplace. Get it up, get it up, get it up, Chris. Come on, that's what she said. Get it up. There we go. We were able to get it up for her. Okay, so we're gonna try to get our bottom path. Uh, uh, Alk in time. I don't think we're gonna get it in time for round 28, but for round. 30, we should be able to get it in time. So that's going to be hopefully worthwhile for us. So you know what? Maybe we'll get enough money. It's going to be tight. It's going to be real tight. Oh my god, I'm making all these these last what she said jokes. Yeah, I'm not even doing it on purpose. Alright, we got to use this for Billy first. And lead to gold! Look at that timing, guys. That is beautiful. Love it. Give me all that juicy, juicy cash flow. Alright, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for that village... Um, maybe, you know what? It's actually not that bad for maybe putting another farm right here, you know? I can get another one right here in range of my farm, or at the very least. So, let's do that guy. And we're gonna ride this out. There we go. 
Thank you so much, Colby. There he is, man. He's my Colby Jack Cheese, just the way I want him to be. Thank you, Colby. At a buddy's house, so I won't be able to stick around for the stream, but I wanted to pop and say hey. Well, thank you, Colby. That's so nice of you, just to reach out and say that, man. Thank you. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful time at your friend's house. Have a wonderful time there, buddy. All right, guys, we're already up to third tier banana farms. I'm starting to struggle here at this point, though, so we're going to have to get some more pop power. Let's go for a quick uh, two, two boomerang. One of the best pop and power towers in the game, for sure, for the price. At this point, probably worth it to go for the valuable bananas if we're, you know, spending the money on that kind of crap, so let's do that. And I might have to go for some sort of uh, decent level ninja over here pretty soon, too. You know what? I think we can survive with just the advanced targeting. Let's do that. Advanced targeting for round 33? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're golden. Actually, more than golden. There we go. We get that guy. And I do want to get my rubber to gold pretty soon as well. I think that's an important upgrade that a lot of people overlook as part of their strategy. You know, it, it makes you a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. Like, a whole crap ton of money. We got a rubber to gold. We're going to get a larger potions. We're going to put this guy on last now, now that we have rubber to gold. Before, it didn't really matter too much, but now it's kind of important to get that guy going. And then we're going to try to get any third tier banana farms up in here that we have in range of our uh, village first. And then we're going to upgrade him up to uh, a bigger radius and see if uh, we can fit any more banana farms in there, like this guy and maybe just... Yes! There we go. We can get at least five of these guys in there. Great. All right, sweet, man. So uh, this is where it's going to get a little tricky because I don't know. Oh, okay, we're going to use our uh, our thing here. We're going to get the ninja upgrade just a little bit. Dartling Gun is actually fighting against the grain here. Against the grain. Random camo. Yes. No, yellow balloons. Oh, crap. They all stuck through. Mm. All right. Well, how about that? How about that, apples? Oh, no double cash for me, brah. We don't do that nonsense over here. We're going to have to get some uh, good popping power real soon, though. Uh, the good news out of these guys is that we don't have to deal with, like, a billion ceramics. So we don't have to... Ooh. Ooh. What do we do about that? Uh... I don't have the money for it yet. All right, I guess we're tanking it. Um, doesn't have to be tanked. <laughs> I guess we're tanking it. Oh wait, come on, hit it! Oh, all right, we tank, we tanked it, we tanked it. We just dealt with it, bro. We dealt with it the best we could. All right, guys, uh, it's about that time. We're gonna do a uh, a couple different uh, towers here. We're gonna go for a. I'm not sure that this is the best tower for me, but I'm going to go for a laser cannon with faster barrel spin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a plasma accelerator pretty much as fast as I possibly can. Oh my god, more lead balloons! Ah, oh, crap. All right. This sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. Did I spell the title wrong? All right, hold on. we got to fix that right now. Right freaking now, man. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, I did. I said lick. Lich. Lich. There we go. It's all fixed for you guys. Okay. Okay. You don't need to make fun of me now. This is the rubber to gold. Oh, yeah. This is freaking amazing rubber to gold strategy. All right. I'm going to lick this. I'm going to lick this guy right on up. I'm going to lick him back into Neverland. All right, so uh, we've got our third tier banana farms. We've got uh, everything up going for us. All we need to do is we need to save up and get this guy right here. This guy's going to be the game changer for us, the Plasma Accelerator. In addition, you're probably going to want to go for some sort of uh, bottom path ninja. So let's get that guy going as well. Here's where the damage comes into play, though. Oh, at least a lot of the damage. And we're going to get our ninja, I think, just kind of in the middle of the map here. I think we can reach probably, in fact, let's get rid of this guy. And let's get our ninja, like, right here. Right in the middle. We're going to go for a bottom path flash bomb and sticky bomb as soon as I possibly can. Let's use our ability here just because extra damage is always good, man. That bend damage, it happens. It happens real delicious, like. 
All right, we're up to Sticky Bomb. Now, if you get a Sticky Bomb, guys, don't forget, you definitely want to get that Ninja Disciplines. Here we go. Here's the first level of uh, Lich here. First zombie balloons have to deal with. All right, I don't want to say no problem there, but we do take them down. We're going to use our abilities here. Now, for the rest of the game, I'm going to be using up my banana farms. I need to make more money. I feel pretty good about this. I think this is only going to take a little while here, guys. All right, here we go. We got another level of Lich coming out. Oh, it's a reinforced mode this time. Crap. Suck my balls. Hopefully, we got enough damage here. With Ben and with some micro, of course we do. We take him down. Okay, just play it out. This guy's going down pretty fast, I guess, but there's a lot of the levels here. Um, it's mostly about, oh, is there going to be any more reinforced mobs coming? Because um, two mobs actually isn't too bad. I think it's more about the reinforced that causes the problems for me. Oh, here we go. Here's a reinforced one coming out. Oh, my. I'm going to revive a reinforced one or what? You got $10,000 saved up. All right. Again, reinforced Moab. I got to aim that guy first, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Take it down, take it down, take it down. He's about halfway dead at this point. I got $12,000 saved up. There we go. We take that guy down as well. Um, all right. I really wanted to get a fourth-year banana farm, but I can't sell to get my fourth-year banana farm. I just have to kind of wait it out at this point. So uh, let's wait it out, I guess. Another reinforced one, though. That's going to be rough if we got to deal with that guy. All right, that guy's dead, no problem. And this guy should be dead, no problem as well. Back to killing Lich. 20,000, all right, we got it. Banana research facility, round 47 here. Uh, we're gonna use Ben's ability, we got to, oh, crap. Um. This might have to be a restart. There's two reinforced Moabs. Yeah, that's two two reinforced Moabs. We can't do that. That's going to be too rough for us. So. Oh, crap. Right when I got my fourth tier banana farm, too. That sucks. All right. We're going to have to trade this out. We're going to have to go for some sort of Moab glue before, before we do that. I think that's the only solution. All right, this time around... Oh, this time around, it didn't matter. We didn't even need the Moab Glue. Okay, I guess that's all right. Oh, no, there they are. All right, that was the last level. This time around, I think we got it. We're still going to get our Banana Research Facility over here. It's not an instantaneous win or anything like that, but at least I got uh, Glue to slow it down just a little bit here. One more Reinforced Moab. We got our ability here with Ben. Extra damage. Come on, come on, come on. Take it down. There we go. All right. And this one will be defeated. Delicious. All right. So at this point, I'm going to get rid of my glue. And everybody else has just got to stay. You know what? We can get rid of this guy, too. Let's get uh, let's get this going. I think just a, a simpler answer is just a regular Moab Glaives or something like that. And I think I want to get one more rubber to gold. And I think I can put this guy a little closer to uh, maybe like here or something. Just put him here. Next thing I want to do is I definitely want to get a monkey town here and make some extra cash. Monkey town and monkey city. I might actually be in range here with my monkey city, guys. Oh, yeah, I can get a few of these guys in range. All right, we're going to go for a uh, sharpshooter with uh, quick shots and very quick shots. I do eventually want to get a crossbow master here. Realistically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get most of my pops with the big three. All right, that's the ninjas, the boomerangs, and the dart monkeys. I did use a dartling gun for this first setup, and... I mean, I could do I could do a couple different strategies if I want to, but it is what it is right now. Um, we can go for villages, by the way, if we want to. Something like this. 
does not... I don't believe that any of these actually hurt us. It's the activated abilities that really kill us. Uh, or the alchemist abilities, the overclock abilities, and uh, the third, fourth tier villages that really kill us. Avatar of Wrath seems like a pretty good tower for this guy. I would like to go for a mad, I think. I think I, I think I want to try for a mad. Um... I don't think I'm going to go for Moab Press. I do think that's a pretty good tower. Um, maybe I'll go for that for Tier 3. But for right now, I think I just want to go for a straight mad. Just go for straight damage. You know, I've got... I've got I, I'm going to have enough money, I think. I think. I hope. There is indeed a Ninja Paragon. You guys will see him today if all goes according to plan. If all goes according to plan. Alright, there's uh, five banana farms in there. I believe that might be right around where we can reach without doing some sort of weird overclock um, grab. I don't even know if overclock would reach this guy. Like, is it worth it to try? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go banana research facility. This is going to be the last one. We're going to start saving up for a mad again. Because um, I, I can buy the mad, I can sell the mad and not feel bad about it. So I think that's why I want to go for it. Look at this popping power, guys. Holy crap. Look at that. Got a few balloons stinking through here. Um, yep, I was going to go for the mad anyways. Why not just pop a few balloons while we're at it? I'm trying to think of anything else that could be used for uh, a good amount of popping power. I mean, I could go for a Grandmaster uh, Master Bomber. Master Bomber would be okay. I'm looking at the big three again. You know what? Moab Dom. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. We're going Moab Dom. Screw this guy. Uh, Moab Dom it is. Moab Dom it is. I want to try to get more pops. It doesn't seem like it matters too much. But again, every little bit could lead to something. So, let's do it up. If I have to, I'll sell this guy, too. He's worth about five grand. A little bit of wasted money. No problem, though. All right, we've got $32,000 right now. Um, definitely no selling. Lich, where are you at, buddy? Oh, there's a red blue. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be a few rounds for us before we're going to be able to get this... Uh, uh, Moab Dom. 57k. I think I can also get the primary training. I don't think that affects the uh, the things at all. Let's just use our ability here. We're just going to kind of ride this out for a few seconds. Get another 10... Eh, about $5,000. Alright, let's try this guy out. We're going to sell the this guy and get this guy up, and we're going to see how much damage... Oh, I had to sell, though. I guess it wasn't hurt that much, but let's see if this guy's going to be good enough for us. Not really. Not really. Don't get me wrong, he's not bad. But I feel like he could be better. I feel like the Mad would have been a better tower to go for. But it's kind of too late for that. Um, with the Ninja and the Boomerang combo, we could be okay here. Let's see how we deal with these guys. This is not going very well at all right now. This guy... Sucking it up. I don't know. Okay. I might have to save up for the Master Bomber. This just is not enough popping power. It's just not enough. It's gonna be 40k. It shouldn't be the end of the world. And this guy's not even like an automatic win or anything like that either. I, I think I would have preferred the Mad. Uh, long term, this will help us out because this is going to get us our Boomer a lot of pops. You know, and every every Boomer pop is always a good pop. But, uh, yeah, he's about halfway through already, guys. This is, ooh, this is bad. Man, I might need a freaking Mad in addition. Woo! There he goes. Slice 
Look at all them zombie mobs. Zombie mobs. All right. Sadly, again, gonna wait on our uh, farming for a little while. Damage here is a scarce thing. It's a scarcity. All right, let's use our ability here. Try to take this guy down as fast as possible. He's going down. He's about halfway, about three-fourths through the map, though. Ben's ability again. Master Bomber's doing a great job right now. Just got to keep this up. I don't know if I need the mad, but I think I still want... Man, I feel like maybe it's about time, guys. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Master Bomber, it's up to you, my friend. Kill this thing. There we go. We got two more skulls. Screw it, I'm getting the mad. I don't want to. I don't want to lose. You know, I still. I should have got the mad instead of the Master Bomber. But you know what? It is what it is. Look at this damage. Holy crap! Look at that damage. I knew it, man. I freaking knew it. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. The mad is just too good to pass up, guys. It's too freaking good to pass up. It just pops freaking Moab, guys. Oh, there he is! Alright, sadly, that means that, um... I can't sell this guy because he's got my pops. I can't sell this guy because he's got my pops. But I can get rid of the Mad and rebuy him later on. There's nothing wrong with that. Mad is just so freaking good. And we're gonna do something a little odd here. We're gonna go for an interesting overclock. And we're gonna try... I don't know that this is gonna work for certain. But we're gonna try to get... A overclock on this guy, and then we're gonna try to get a monkey opolis. Yes! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's called a trick play right there, guys. Get as many farms inside of the range as you possibly can. And then we can rebuy them banana farms. Every little bit is gonna matter there. You cannot overclock anything in this game, guys. Do not overclock anything in this game. Trust me on that. You will be very upset with the result. No buffs. No buff, boys. You can get jungle drums. No problem with that. You can get primer training, I think. Uh, no problems with that. You just can't use alchemists, uh, middle path villages, and overclocks. Mad was delicious, guy. I, no, re no regrets with that guy. Absolutely none. I mean, I guess the good news out of all of that is that the uh, boomerang did get a lot of pops out of it. So, we can work on that. I think for this next level, I think I'm going to have to use the mad. Um, and then for the next, next level, though, is when I'm going to have to start getting ready for uh, a Paragon already. So money's going to be ridiculously important. There we go. Keep those guys flowing. We're going to get a few more banana farms kind of kind of all over the place. I can also buy uh, Merchantmen, which a lot of people don't know about. Get Merchantmen over here. Not the best thing to get, but definitely not bad. All right, um, we've got a few more rounds where nothing's really going on. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a couple of fifth tier towers for this next level. I'm going to get the Mad for sure. I'm probably going to get a uh, Sky Shredder. I think um, maybe an Apache Prime. Uh, towers that can kind of affect the entire screen. I'll probably... I'll probably get a spike storm as well. But um, just keep in mind, guys, the whole point of this is that you cannot use the regular buffs. A lot of people are like, tax zone, tax zone, Chris, freaking tax zone. But the reason why tax zone's really, really good is because of all the buffs you can get. Don't get me wrong, primary training, all that. I, I, I don't know if these get removed. I have not tested this out yet, and it feels rude to try it right now, but... If anybody can tell me in the comments for sure that this does not heal him, then I'll start to buy that. Because uh, I want it. Like, I want it really, really bad. Village buffs are still okay. Not the middle path village. Just the top path. Let's keep this going. We got, we're got we making mad money right now, guys. This is awesome. Woo! 
look at that bunny. Oh crap, I might lose. Master Bomber, go! Kill them all! <laughs> yes! Thank you, Master Bomber. Thank you for saving the day. Alright, perfect. So we can get top and, uh... Top path thirds and... Great. Call to arms, yeah, call to arms is a no-no. Big fat no-no. Alright, so we're doing great on, on, on making money. I mean, I can always make more money. I feel like it's worth it for me. Nah, we're gonna start building some good defense. So the defenses I want to get, I for sure want to get a mad. So let's get a mad. I'm gonna build them right here for now. Uh, I think I want to get a. Since I can use the village buff, or at least jungle drums, we're gonna try to build things in range here. I can get a sky shredder, right here. So we can go for a quick bit of missile farm. Yeah, this guy. Okay, we'll buy him. We'll buy him just so we don't have to think about it. Uh, I think I want to get a sniper. Hey, Purple Haze. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go for the Ice Tower as well. We're going to try to put guy this guy in the range of the uh, village again as well. Right there. And that's going to be kind of my basic setup here. I just have to get the money to make it happen um, for Tier 3. And then for Tier 4, that's when we got to start making some real plays here. we got to save up like 600 grand. About a million dollars, actually, to make this happen. So it's going to be rough. Plus, I think the two other towers that I do want to get is I want to get a Grandmaster Ninja and... Uh, the sabotage guy as well. So, all that. I mean, that's a lot of money, guys. It's a lot of money. We're not. We don't need to go crazy yet. Glue storm is kind of one of those like you're almost overkilling it. Okay, we're about to get that uh, delicious mad right here. But we got only one more round before it pops out, boys. One more round. Alright, the mad though feels good. It feels good to have that guy. Alright, let's go Apache Prime next. It's a big one. Uh, but the nice thing about Apache Prime is he specifically does extra MOAD damage. We're gonna go for the sharper and faster firing as well. Alright, I'm ready for you, buddy. I'm ready for you. Here we go. Alright, right away, use those abilities. Apache Prime is ready to go already. We're gonna go for a quick Sky Shredder. Uh, he is getting damaged pretty good. You know, I mean, that, that's what I gotta say. He's getting damaged pretty good right here. Um, I think the next thing we gotta go for is this Top Path uh, Sniper. We gotta do some extra damage. It's not that expensive. I think I'm gonna go for the... I'm gonna go for the uh, Shrapnel Shot on this guy. Not because I love the idea, but because I think it's actually gonna help me in the long term. Okay, and then uh, let's get that sniper, cripple Moab. And this guy, even though he's in the, kind of the wrong spot long term, right now this is okay. And I'm going to go for the larger radius too, just because I feel like it's going to help me out. Okay, let's see if this is going to be enough for us. It seems like, you know, with the bad and everybody, we should be good. I don't, I don't see us losing this game, I can tell you that much. Here we go, another big chunk of abilities here. Use them while we got them. Use the mat on this puppy. Woo, all right. Um, let's, let's get some extra cash. Let's get at least the Monkey Wall Street over here. And then it's kind of weird, like, do I want to go even more money than this? Like, do I want to go crazy? Because I can build a few more towers that make me extra cash. Let's lock this guy in place for a quick second. I feel pretty good. Oh man, these lives though. I hate losing all these lives. Let's go super brittle. And I guess if we're going super brittle, we're going refreeze, guys. All right, we'll lock this guy in a slightly better place. He's actually pretty tough. Um, he's a little tougher than I want him to be. That's for sure. All right, he's halfway dead right now.
Get rid of those zombie Moabs as fast as possible. Less than halfway right next to all my juicy towers, though. Oh, yeah, juice them up. Juice them up. Juice them up, boys. There we go. No healing for you, my friends. Okay, he's going to be uh, down to his well, 3 8 health. I'm glad that they didn't go too crazy with the skulls here. Um, they could have, like, you know, they added six for the main one from four uh, on Blunarius. So that's a big difference. So I guess at this point, it might be worth it to uh, just save up our money. I don't know if I want to try to go for all of the uh, uh, ships and everything. We have one more skull. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just a little weird, weird here. I'm going to go for a random support tunic over here. Do some extra damage. Why is this guy not able to move things? Four. We're going to move our mad over here. Just in case something crazy happens, you know. Down to the very last bit. <laughs> how evil. How absolutely disgustingly evil of us. All right, Blue. All right, I can call him Blunarius. All right, loser. You're dead, Lich. You're dead. You're dead to me. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, four, six, five, one. Oh! <laughs> Look at that tier three. Now that was scary. Now that was scary right there. Check it out. All right. So uh, we're gonna get. Let's uh, let's move this guy back real quick. Move him back real quick. We got nine more rounds before we have to make some plays. So let's make some plays. Um, if anybody wants to do the math for me, feel free, but the most expensive upgrade, if I'm not mistaken, is the bottom path. We're talking, it's about seven grand, so uh, 750, let's call it a thousand, almost 4,000, and another 4,500, so it's about, about nine grand. All right, so, oh, and I have a fifth year farm yet. Oh, let's get that guy. So... If it's about nine grand, you need about about thirty of them to get up to what you want them to be. So I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna get uh, thirty. We're just gonna get like thirty-five or something like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So we're going to go 35. I think that's good enough. I think that's more than overkill. So, um... Talk about focus. Uh, I might have missed some here and there. It doesn't really matter. I went overkill. I built 35 of them, so uh, I think I'll need about 30 of them. So that feels pretty good anyways. Grab a few lives. Grab a little bit of money. And, oh, the pure and utter focus, man. Pure and utter focus. Why would 024 be better? Because it's a little bit more expensive? 
doesn't matter. It's not like I'm worried about space, guys. It shall it shall matter. Wow, what's the difference? Like 300 bucks? <laughs> yeah, I like 100, 100 bucks. It doesn't matter, guys. Oh my god. All right. Um. So now we need to do the other ninja as well. We're gonna get the uh, this guy. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're ready to get this guy when we're ready to get this guy. 600,000. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So do I want him to be right here? Actually, I think I think I wanted to be in a different spot. I think I wanted to be like imagine what his range is going to be. I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll build him something like this. And we just have about $200,000. Hey, JC Productions, man. What's up? How you doing? Hope you're having a nice day. I'm having a pretty good day, my man. Pretty good day so far. So far. If we leave, if we lose against the Leap Lunar, we'll not be having a good day. I can tell you that much. But I'm hoping you're having a great day as well, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for all the support, my man. Thank you, thank you. All right. So we still need another $240,000. Six round, four rounds to get it. It doesn't matter if I miss an edge. I, I overkilled it, so. And then what I should do is I should get a crossbow master. Crossbow master. Um, an ultra jug. And then what I want to do is I want to get my positioning right on this uh, plasma. And I think over here is probably good again. We're going to go plasma monkey fan club right here. Get that guy going. All right. And we can get that guy not now, but when we're ready. Now at least we have those guys ready, and they're getting pops. I think that's an important aspect of this. They're getting pops. All right, let's speed this up. Can we make 100 grand in two rounds? Ooh, it's going to be a little tougher than I thought. Here he is, tier four. So, so far he's going to be an absolutely devastating monster. All right, use all them abilities. Just press the buttons, press them buttons. And then we're gonna get ready for it, guys. Here's the Ninja Paragon. We need another $8,000, $3,000. And here he is, guys, Ninja Paragon Ascended Shadow. Check this out. This action will create a Ninja Paragon monkey. All other Ninja monkeys will be destroyed in the process, feeding the Paragon's power. Now, if you haven't seen this guy yet, he is straight up crazy. I was testing him out against uh, other balloons, kind of a just sandbox mode. Uh, ah, sandbox mode. And he ended up at level 33, was just dominating round 100. At level 66, he was dominating round 150. And at, around, at level 76, he was dominating all the way up to round 200. 200, guys! So here he is, the Ascended Shadow. Can he take down Lich? We got a level 32! Absolutely beautiful here, guys. Nice! That's how you gotta do it. Check out this damage right here. Oh my god! That is nice to see. Very, very, very nice to see. I don't know if we even need to micro after that. Woo! Hot oh, diggity dog. That's nice. So actually what we're gonna be doing in this, uh, in this kind of in-between time here, guys, is we're gonna actually, since I think we're gonna beat tier four, no problem. I'm pretty confident with that Ninja Paragon, we're gonna be fine. So we're going to build about, uh, again, like 30-something monkeys uh, in the meantime. Just spam them up. Tier 4 is easy breezy, but Tier 5, no matter what you're doing, is going to be difficult. And we have limited time here, guys. So let's start counting. We got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Lock this guy in place. He's in the way. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. All right, 35 again. I think we're overkilling it by a little bit, but money at this point really isn't necessarily the issue. We're already halfway dead with tier four. Woo! Talk about deliciousness here, guys. Talk about deliciousness. And we're going to upgrade all of these guys to middle path. Now, if you actually do the math again, it's about $9,000. So you divide 250000 by... Or 250 by 9. And you're going to get a number that is like... Just less than 30. So I just really need 30.
Alright, I did 30 of them. We're gonna get cross paths on these guys just in case it does something. I don't know. I still think it doesn't, but somebody told me it does, so I'll, I'll believe them. Alright, here we go, guys. The last set of Tier 4. Look how dominative we were that time. Alright, I feel pretty good about that. Um, even if they're not all upgraded. We got them. Uh, and here we go. The last set of guys. Uh, the last set of balloons here. Doing pretty good. Pretty sexy, if I do say so myself. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start. I'm going to start. I'm not going to finish, but I'm going to start building my boomerangs as well. I don't know. The most detailed post that I've seen about Paragon Monkey so far said that you're supposed to get 100 upgrades for your towers. Uh, and right now, that probably won't matter too much because you're already getting 6 per dart monkey. So even at 10 dart monkeys, you're at 60 upgrades, right? Again, it doesn't matter if I forgot a dart monkey. I actually forgot. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I forgot a dart monkey. But uh, uh, somebody said 100 upgrades is important. And I don't understand why that would be. Um, it makes a little bit more sense if you're dealing with something like, you know, I don't know, like a super monkey or something where, you know, to get a third tier, I mean, you could spend... To get a, a fourth tier, I mean, you could spend 40 grand just like that. So... If you only need to spend 250 grand, maybe you could build five super monkeys in range. They don't want you to do that. They're saying, hey, you have to get enough super monkeys and enough upgrades to get that high enough level paragon. So I'm not sure if that's important, but at this point, uh, I don't have anything to test it against, so I can't say for sure that it doesn't matter, if that makes sense. Uh, but that being said, like, even if you're just close, probably good enough, you know? Probably good enough. I'm gonna wait till about around 115 or so. Um, do I have all, all the boomerangs yet? All right, I'm gonna get rid of this guy for now. I, I don't know if I—I I don't think I have a glaive lord yet. I don't have a glaive lord yet. Okay, so we're gonna get that guy going, and then I do have uh, both the other. Oh, I don't have. Oh my god, I don't have a perma charge either. But I do want to get this guy kind of in the middle here as well. So we're going to get this guy like right here, and we're going to get this guy up to a perma charge. Randomly, I'm going to go Red Hot Rags because that's right now is, I think, the best one. So, um, yeah. I'm going to wait until about 112. I'll do the Dart Monkeys. I'll wait until uh, around 119 to do the Boomerangs. But during that process of, of uh, doing the Boomerangs, I'm going to straight up build something else. So I think I'm going to try to do some sort of support um, uh, I'm just gonna build anything that I feel like is gonna do damage, you know? I can't, yeah, I can't sell on run 120, so I actually have to sell all my farms before 120, or at least a lot of them before 120 to kind of get the things going, because I don't want to sell anything during the process, and yes, it can make you money, but in that, like, 8 rounds, 10 rounds that you're actually making money, it's probably better off just to sell it, so, uh, that's the plan of action. But yeah, we can build all that crap, guys, as much as we want to build, and uh, see if it's going to work for us. We're going to speed this up a little bit, though. I actually don't have that much to do. I guess what I can do right now is... We got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think you need something like 40 boomerangs, though. It's, like, it's pretty tough, so... Start upgrading. Money might be actually kind of important though, so we're gonna we're not gonna sell our farms until like 119, you know, like right at the very last second. Basically when I wanna do it. So right when I need that money for that paragon monkey or whatever the heck else I need to get. Okay, 112 guys, you guys ready for this uh, Paragon? Apex Plasma Master! Give me some room to work with here. Um, let's do them. I don't think any of this matters, but I just feel like, you know, it's worth it just not screw it up. So, Apex Plasma Master, here you go guys. I think, I'm gonna guess a level 45 Paragon, because I've got two Crossbow Masters that have been here most of the game, but even then, only 200,000 bops or something like that. That's almost nothing. This guy's got zero. Uh, and this guy's got 70k. Yeah, I got almost no pops on this guy. I'm gonna guess probably a 40. 
But if I got a 45, that would be epic. All right, Apex Plasma Master, let's do it. 40, 40, okay, all right, 40. It's good, not in 30s, it's always good to have. Now I got some more room for my boom booms. What did I, oh man, I already got his number. Five, 10, we're gonna go with 15. We need another, oh, 17. Let's go for another, um, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go at 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, oh, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. All right, we're going to go 40 of these guys. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I never put this guy on Wing Monkey. That's right. Probably would have helped. Man, I got no time. I gotta make this fast. But money is important. Money is important. We're building all three paragons. Um right next to each other actually. Just in a nice little bundle. It's gonna be it's gonna be frickin' and ridiculous. The Triple Paragon Bundle, baby. Around 116 right now. I think we're going to try it on 118, because I still need a little bit of time to build things. And i got to decide what I even want to build at that point, right? Hey, Darkness. Thank you, buddy. I'm having a, a throb, throbbing day. Absolutely. This is a deliciously throbbing day. Thank you, my friend. Dark <laughs> yeah, I know. I know this is kind of weird, right? Um... All right, 117. All right, I'm going to go for it, guys. I feel like I'm running out of time here. Let's get rid of all these guys. Uh, and we're going to get our Glaive Dominus. Here we go. Ba-boom. Absolutely spicy. All right, right in the middle of the map. I think we're going to probably go for some sort of Druid army. Three, four, five. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this guy, but he's aight. Uh, well, one thing we can do here gonna be kind of fun we're gonna go for uh we're gonna go for an avatar of wrath right we have to we're gonna go for heart of the thunder though with this guy that, that new upgrade actually makes this pretty sexy i'm gonna get a top path actually oh i gotta sell i gotta sell that's all my money for the rest of the game boys And I'm going to get one more druid over here. We're going to get him up to a middle path, Spirit of the Forest. Why? Because why the heck not? That's the right, correct answer. Uh, we're going to buy an Orc Mage, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the best thing to get here is. All right, let's get our abilities up in here. Boom, 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 boom. See how much damage we're Oh my god, look at that damage. Tier 5 is nothing to us. All right, let's get some something else in here. What else do we want to get? What else do we want to get? Let's get attack zone, because why the heck not? Let's get a uh, uh, Inferno Ring, because why the heck not? Let's get that Glue Gunner, because why the heck not? Use that ability for sure. Oh, wait, does that count as a freaking ability? I hope not. Sure freaking hope not. All right, we can go for a Super Mines. That seems like a fun ability for us. That's pretty much all my money, guys. That's pretty much all of it. Oh, yeah, he's already. Oh, my God, look at that damage. Woo, what was our boomer paragon, by the way? 37! That's great. I didn't even look at that number. All right, so we're actually popping things over here. What's this guy do? Oh, he's locked in place. Where's the damage at? Why is he not dying? Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Abilities. Use some first strikes and crap. He's not healing nothing. It's all about dead damage. All right. We can move our ice tower a little closer. Move him, uh, we'll move him up here. It's a, it's a little bit of a far move, but I think it's going to be worthwhile for us. 
All right, he's three-eighths dead already, guys. Things are looking good. Supermines are ready to go. Oh, yeah, you guys want a permanent spike? Heck yeah, the permanent spike. Right next to the ice tower, too. Right next to that ice tower. Grab some lives just in case something bad happens. EDT sneak through or something like that. We don't like when that happens. Go for this upgrade and glue it. Ooh! Look at that, look at that Spirit of the Forest damage. I, honestly, I'm a little bit impressed. All right, so we're kind of out of the range of some of our Paragons right now. So we're not exactly doing as much damage as we were before, but I think this is pretty clear. I don't think we're going to lose this one. Round 123, and we are straight up dominating. Straight up dominating. Halfway dead, coming up soon. This guy's got 24 million health. Oh, that's more than Blunarius, man. No, it's not. Is it? What did he have? Did he have 20 million? Oh, we don't need the Flying Fortress. Flying Fortress kind of sucks without the buffs, guys. Flying Fortress is not worth it. And I can't sell. I cannot sell. Don't forget about that. All right, he's not getting hurt right now very much. This is kind of weird. Out of the range of the Paragons, things go bad. Things go very bad. All right. Now we're getting in range of the Paragons again. We're getting to the death zone. Let's get that death zone ready for some glue, and we're going to move our Ice Tower back into position here. Um, it's a little spot right there. Right there. Take them in. Take them in. All right, we got to pop these guys, I guess. For some reason, these balloons are... I think... I don't know if it's this guy. What the heck's going on, man? Are we, like, pushing the Moebs back or something like that so we can't hurt this guy? I don't know exactly what's going on. But somehow, this guy is... Uh, Oh, Blue News had 40 million. So, okay, this guy's way less. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. That's what I thought. It was like between 20 million and 40 million in my head. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to memorize every single number in existence just because I'm a YouTuber? Come on, man. Get over yourself. All right, here we go. Six million health still. Still got to pop these guys. I am focusing on the, the ones in the top over there. We are going to use this ability anyway. just because it's active. It's ready to go. Uh, and he's ready to get popped again. And we're still in range of all the Paragons. About to click right through our Ice Tower damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. Add it all up. Add that damage together, guys. Paragons are destroying. The last skull. Now, I... The last skull is always the most dangerous, guys, because he's the furthest in the map. If something bad happens, we get screwed. All right, there we go. We lose some lives, but that's okay. We're ready to hurt him again. Last little bit here, boys. Okay. I think the only solution at this point... Let's use the homeland defense to finish him off. All right, you guys ready? Let's use the homeland defense. Just a second here, and... Get ready for it. And... Oh! Homeland defense, baby! Yeah! Clean them up! Clean them up! Woo! Boom! Homeland defense is probably the best thing ever against Lich. Lich sucks. He's garbage. He's garbage. All right. All right, guys. We did it. Homeland defense! Homeland defense! <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> I actually tried. No, oh man, look at that. My, give me one sec. I hate, I hate this one. I promise I'm gonna get a new one soon. Once I, before balloons two for sure, battles two for sure, I'm getting a new one. Boom! Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, in my last video, my last lich video. I uh, actually look at that beautiful look at that. We're just sitting on a pile of dead lich pile of dead lich gold right there Lich God got nothing on us SJ blurry. I like that um, <laughs> Dude if it healed all the way up, I, I would be so upset with myself, but I would feel pretty confident that we could still Take him down if we uh, Use 600 monkey money so uh, we beat the elite version, guys. We did it. We took him down. 250 monkey money is ours. 50 trophies is, are ours. We got some extra crap. An insta monkey of a Moab boomerang. And we get this nice little icon for ourselves.
beautiful. All right. Oh, you guys want to do it again? You guys want to do it, but with no paragons. No paragons. Okay. Seems pretty reasonable. It's definitely pull offable. Not. Screw that, dude. Screw that. By the way, thank you guys again so, so much for... <clears throat> For, uh, all the donations, all the support, everything you guys have done for me. Um, I got a quick question for you guys. While, while there's a lot of people here, I'm actually going to ask this in my... I'm going to ask a straw poll. Alright, and then I'm going to do some uh, challenges right after this. So, uh, I'm not going to stay around forever, but... I got my first shirt ever. And I want your guys' opinion. Alright. All right, give me one second, guys. I will be right back. By the way, I was getting some uh, pretty crazy lag in my last live stream, and I realized... Um, I realized part of the reason why. Alright, guys, uh, just a really quick story. We're gonna go to the challenge section, though. Let's go check out these challenges while I kind of ask this up. Um, content browser, man. They really make you fight for this. Alright. So, uh, I realized that my computer has been running off of one stick of RAM, and I kind of knew this. I knew that the computer's been running out of one stick of RAM for a while, and I always, I thought the RAM was broke, to be honest. And I'm like, eh, I don't really want to buy a new set of RAM, man. It's like 300 bucks for, like, the RAM that I need. I'm like, oh, it's not worth it. So I uh, finally was like, ah, I'm going to really just try to fix this RAM, see if I could do anything to it. So I took it out, and I popped it back in, and nothing happened. Broken. Whatever. Garbage. So I popped them out, and I switched the spots. Put it back in. One stick still. What the heck, dude? Like, what's wrong with this? One of the sticks must be broken, but whatever. I'm just going to deal with it. And like, you know what? Let me check it out. So I like went and I did a little bit more research on things. I figured out that it was in the sixth slot, so I knew which one was actually working. I'm like, so I can mess with the other one at the very least. So I took it out, jammed it in really hard. I was like, boom, jam it in. Jam it in, just like usual, guys. Ram it. You don't want to take it in and out too much, but just ram it in sometimes. Just leave it in there. Let it click, okay? And I got my both, both my sticks to work. So now I have 32 gigs of RAM again. This is fantastic. 32 gigs is a little bit overkill sometimes, but not for a streamer. Streamers really do need good computers. You have to run a lot of stuff all at the same time. You have to run web browsers and OBS and a game and chats and uh, other things kind of all at the same time. And it's got to record and it's got to stream. So it's got to do like so many things. You need the freaking RAM. RAM the RAM, guys. RAM the RAM. So anyways, I fixed my computer. Got 32 gigs of RAM. Computer's running beastly now. All right. Oh, I don't... Nobody else touches my computers, bro. It's my computer. I fix my computer. So anyways, really quickly, I just have to ask you guys what your opinions are on this. I've got a... Um, I've got a straw poll for you guys. I'm going to create a poll. I'm going to share it. Copy the link. I'm going to give this to you guys, all right? Now, you can't vote just yet. Well, you should be able, you can vote, but don't vote just yet. I gotta show it to you. So this is my first ever shirt that I've gotten so far. Um, and all, what I'm doing, just so you guys understand what I'm doing, I have, here, let me share it to Twitch as well. Don't wanna leave anybody out here. Um, uh, what I'm doing is I'm getting uh, test versions of all of the shirts because when you get when you design a shirt, basically you can't tell exactly where it's actually going to go. You can only kind of see where they you think it's going to go. So I have uh, a bunch of different icons, a bunch of different um, T-shirt types, a bunch of different hoodies, and all that kind of stuff. And before I launch my merch store, um, I want to get you guys' opinion on the designs. So 
this is the best time for me to ask because I get actual live feedback back from you guys, and I appreciate you guys so, so gosh darn much. I really, really, really want this to go well. Even if nobody buys it, I don't want anybody, a single person, to buy something that they're like, wow, this came out looking stupid, all right? I want them to get it and be like, okay, at the very least, they liked what they bought, you know? Even if they don't wear it all the time, even if it's not their favorite shirt, at least they liked what they bought because they bought what they thought they were getting, right? So, that being said, this is my first hoodie that I've got. This is the first thing that came. I've got like five other, six other shirts coming. Probably gonna do a giveaway for a lot of these anyways. But, that being said, here it is, guys. Here's my first ever SJB hoodie, and I want your guys' honest, real opinions. And by the way, thank you. A list M a list Oh my god. PM. So hard to say in a row. B Mac. P Mac. <laughs> thank you, guys. So here it is. And I want you guys to vote on this. Again, here's the, uh, the straw poll. Let me know what you guys think about it. Here we go. Honest opinions, please. I gotta take off this and uh, show it off. Green screen. So you guys know the green screen is looking, uh, making it get messed up a little bit, especially right in the green color. <laughs> you know, let me turn off the green screen for one second. I think I can. Uh... Yeah, I think I can just turn that off for one sec. There we go. All right, so here it is, non-green screened. Um, basically, my thoughts were okay. My thoughts were. This could either go a little bit over this way, just a smidge, you know? Like, it, it almost looks like it tried to be centered, but isn't centered. You know, if you kind of look at these two things, this is kind of the center, like right here. So it almost looks like it tried to be centered, but it's not perfectly centered. So I'm not sure if you guys think that it would be good for me to move this just a smidge over this way. Just a smidge. Or, uh, or I could just center it. All right, center it and maybe make it a little bit bigger or something like that. So I'm honestly curious what your guys' thoughts are on it overall. Um, uh, specifically for a hoodie. Now, for shirts, I was thinking I still want to try to put it like kind of like a pocket thing, sort of smaller. Um, but you guys like it centered? Center it? Center it? Okay, well, make sure you guys vote. All right, vote on this. All right, I want you guys to vote on this. Now, if I center it, do you think I should make it bigger? Not too much bigger, but, like, bigger. You know, I'm thinking, like, if you imagine it's this size, we'll make it this size. Something like that. Bigger and centered. Okay. I see a lot of uh, centered and bigger. All right. Um, so in my straw poll here, let me see if I can vote it bigger middle. I'm voting for that. Show me the results. Let's see what we got. It's perfect. We see a lot of its perfects. Uh, bigger middle is the second one. Smaller upright. Something else. Same size middle. Okay. All right. So I was thinking this is specifically for the hoodie. I think a bigger, a slightly bigger in the middle seems like it makes sense for shirts. I'll let you guys vote on that as well. But I think I might try to make it a little smaller and move it to the side a little more. Um, we'll see if it ends up working the way I think it's going to, but uh, there it is. There it is. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys doing this for me. I'm going to take off the hoodie now. Um, these are not for sale yet. Technically, I think you could buy one, but I would prefer it if people didn't buy one yet. Wait until I launch everything, actually get everything kind of set up and everything. So, uh, appreciate the advice again, guys. Let's, uh, let's take this off and, uh, let me fix my green screen and then we'll, uh, pop to some challenges. Jared, I think you're right, my man. For a hoodie, commit to the center. For a shirt, put it to the side. Love it. You look, 
I don't know if that's Guy F Fieri or whatever his name is, but you, he looks like you look like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see where we're at now. There's a line down the side. Yes, this side. Okay. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I think that was the uh, regular hoodie. And I think I got like a premium hoodie in another type. But I did like it. It felt very fuzzy and furry. Um, felt soft. It hasn't been washed yet. So I have to. I'm gonna wash everything and make sure nothing turns out really bad either, because I don't want it to wash and then just be like, oh, run runs the colors or something like that, or just looks bad. So, uh, or just the icon falls off because it's just not right. I I, I don't know. So, uh, oops. Filters. Chroma key. There we go. Look at that. See how easy that was. See how easy that was. All right, guys. Let's do this. Let's find some trending challenges that look fun for us. Kill the bad. Ooh, 29%. Oh, love it. Love it already. Again, thank you guys so much for all the uh, the input. Um, the, uh, there's still a lot of perfects out there. You know, 69 perfects. Bigger middle seems to be the second, though. All right, we got a kill the bad of $70,000. So my first thought was, honestly, do something with perma spike. Get a perma spike here and do uh, white hot spikes. So we have... Oh, it's with one tower, though. Hmm think about trying to do some sort of mobile limb or something like that. Can we sell? We cannot sell either. We have to do it with one tower. My next thought is probably Sky Shredder. Or maybe Cripple Moab. Just maybe. Uh, am I taking suggestions from chat as far as how to build the things? Yes. Um, as long as you're not pushy and repeat yourself ten times in a row. As far as taking your challenges, not today. This would be super oh, easy if this was the yeah. answer. I gotta say that. That would be fun, Ryan. I like that, man. Thanks for the ideas, guys. Uh, again, you guys are always so good to me. So I appreciate you guys so much. Man, my nose. I'm getting itchy nose syndrome again. I haven't had itchy nose syndrome in a long time. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. I think the Zomai gods are gonna tank it. That's gonna be the problem. DDTs will pop, I think. Oh no, maybe not. DDTs pop, and then Zoma Gods are gonna tank it. Yep. <laughs> exactly as anticipated. Alright, so if we want to try to find something that actually does. I mean, if I could get an Apache Prime. With IFR. I know, let's give it a shot. Leave him on pursuit for now. A mad. I don't think we could afford the mad, but if I could get a mad, oh, that's definitely gotta be the way. Definitely gotta be the way. Maybe even like not pop it on purpose for a little bit, because this is a 29 percenter. I've not done the advanced challenge yet. Thank you guys. Glad you guys are loving the videos, man. I try to keep up. I try to keep them good. I try to keep them fun. There's almost always multiple solutions. That's the fun thing about it. So here we go. We're gonna put this guy off of uh, pursuit. Put him back on follow mouse. Let's see if we can slow this down at just the right time here. All right, here we go. We're chasing. All right, I can't do much better than that. That was like a perfect, 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 perfect play. All right, let's try the mat out. If we can afford him. I mean, it's 100% the answer if we can afford him. Hundred percent the answer if we can afford him. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> you cruel world, you. You cruel world. Why would you do that to be a single ceramic?
Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 the blue balloon, man. The blue balloon. <laughs> well, we ended up taking it down. That's the good news. All right, what's next, guys? What are you feeling? How about, uh, you know what? Something generally good. Kind of hard, I think. 53%. Seems... I don't know what that noise was. Hey, Trevor, man. I did not even... I, I, I'm not sure if I noticed your donation, dude. I'm so sorry. I almost missed it. Been watching for a while now. My favorite thing to watch before bed. Grats on the merch. Thank you, Trevor. Appreciate it, man. Um, make sure, you know, if, instead of donating, maybe you want to buy some of the merch instead. Just wait a couple days. Maybe maybe about a... a I'm gonna, I think I'm going to launch it about a week or so. So... Hopefully, if all goes according to plan. Thank you again, Trevor. Appreciate it mo so much, dude. I've I've actually heard that quite a bit that people just like to sit sit down, relax at the end of the night, and just watch some of the videos. It's kind of cool. All right, so this one wasn't that hard. Um, is it a one tower challenge? It is not. But this is where it's a problem. We gotta insta kill it. He dodged it? He dodged it? I'm a little confused. Keeps dodging it, bro. This is so annoying. All right, we gotta try maybe right here. Strong grass. Oh, he's freaking dodging it. All right. Holy crap. All right, so we're gonna try something goofy. We're gonna we're gonna try to like slow it down, and then insta kill it. No, he's still missing. He's still missing. Man, I still got itchy nose disease. I promise I don't do drugs. I'm not doing cocaine or something like that, guys. I. <gasps> okay. I got a crazy solution for you guys. I got a crazy freaking solution. Check this out. We're going to do the exact same thing. Oh. No. We're going to go like this. We're going to go Moab Blue. We're going to build that BMA. We're gonna go, bloop, bloop. I think I got a strong grass. Get a ninja at the back. Just, one ninja. We'll do two ninjas just for good measure. Boop. One red balloon star. Oh, look at this little rat. That's so cute. A little glue rat. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get it this time. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I don't know if that was what the answer was supposed to be. But uh, any which way, we've done it. We've done it. Somebody was saying, oh, man, first of all, Mac Gamer, I'm sorry, dude, but don't spam. All right? Don't spam. I'm going to respond to you, but don't spam. That's annoying for everybody. Um, first of all, best thing to do is ask Ninja Kiwi support. All right? Second thing to do is almost always reinstall your game. Third thing to do, figure it out. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Okay. Got to time you out now. All right. Ooh, what, 13%? Oh, I can't do it on this map. 14%er? Uh oh, I said can't beat this. Win rate of 1%. Ooh, this is going to be tough. All right, we got one monkey for round 40. How much money do we get? We get 13 grand. Do we get to sell? We don't get to sell, so we really just have to use one tower to the best of our ability. It's got to pop Moabs. I finished the first season of Attack on Titan, and uh, I will give it. I will give it a seven. All right, I did not love it. I thought it was pretty interesting. I thought the uh, 
fairly predictive. Um, the it looked really good. The one thing that I'll give it is that like it looks top notch. Uh, I thought that the characters were a little too one one dimensional almost. Um, I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. That they're always the exact same no matter what that gets thrown at them, and people freeze too freaking much. You know, they just like oh, I give up. You know, I, 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 it's just not the way I imagine people doing things. So I'll give it a seven out of ten for now for the first season, but uh, but I, I will keep watching. Um, I will keep watching. All right, so we got a oh yeah a main mode. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Positioning wise, might matter. Here we go. Oh, we can't get a main mode. That sucks. Well, that's definitely not the answer. How about this? Can we? Oh, he can't up. Okay, doesn't work. All right, Spike Factory. Let's try a uh, try Spike Storm. Squid Game was really good. Uh, not life changing though. I mean, a lot of people are like going crazy for it. It was entertaining through and through. But I was not obsessed with it by any means. All right, here we go. Uh, I guess we're getting White House Spikes with this thing. I don't know if we're going to be able to get, uh, get this in time. Oh, we barely don't get it in time. All right, I'm wondering. I'm just wondering. This just got a buff. Will we get this in time? This thing's fast, dude. Oh, my God. All right, it's got to be some sort of ability. Uh, can we get a Dark Knight? Let me check. You can get a Dark Knight with super range. I, I bet you that's what it is. Let's try it out. Let's get a little bit better spot, though. Let's try a Dark Knight with epic range. Well, that's pretty good, man. You gotta give me, you gotta give me some cred for that one. That one, pretty good. Maybe not, but maybe yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that one in the back burner. It's it's still pretty far away. Okay, let's try the mortar. That would be really, really weird for a super strong health Moeb, but oh, I did not mean to get the big one. I meant to get the artillery battery. But while we're at it, we'll try it. Could we afford the Robo Monkey? Great question. We can, but with no other upgrades. Mmm, doesn't seem like it. All right, let's go back to the mortar, though. Artillery battery with uh, Big Blast. Uh, I'm going to go with a big fat no on this one. Even with perfect micro. Nope. Wizards can see through walls. It's close, but I don't think it's going to be good enough unless that's like, oh, you got to get freaking perfect, perfect placement, man. Like, I don't know, just like between these two. Sticky bomb. Distraction, sticky bomb. I could see a distraction sticky bomb and getting a little lucky. All right, let's try a distraction sticky bomb. Because we can't sell. Hmm.
Yeah, it's really bad against ceramics. We're not allowed Moab shove, though. There's a lot of towers that aren't allowed, but 100% on the ceramic health. Moab speeds real fast and health real fast. So, like, we really do have to get, like, a really good, um, uh, tower over here. I don't think any of these three are going to do it for me. <sighs> Technically, I can get the Elite Defender. Can I afford that? No, can't afford that. Alright, Druid. No, doesn't have camo detection. Sentry Expert. Severely doubt it. You know what we haven't tried? We haven't tried Super Mines yet. <laughs> oh boy, guys. Um, do I gotta get lucky with this guy? Not sure I understand. Maybe I gotta do it like, like inside of a ring. Try the smart spikes, but I don't know. Oh, a smart spikes. Maybe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that was my twelfth one if I went smart spikes. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. So I get more with the regular uh regular spikes here, guys. I've not tried a full full bottom path yet. Hmm. Top path seems to uh or not top path, just generally. This, uh, when I put him on the top here, he did a better job for some reason. I don't know if it was the spread. Get to the green balloons that one time. I'm playing a 14% challenge right now. We'll try the bottom path spike factory, but I don't think so. Smart, what's that gonna do, though? How is it gonna be because it's super far away. It's like not even close. Um, we've not tried the bottom path though. <laughs> kind of expected that. Uh, it's worth it just because we're doing it. Let's just try it. Just confirm it. Prove it. Just prove it to ourselves. Bloop. We have not tried... Well, there's nothing really to work with here. Neither of those guys are going to work. Ground Zero. Queen of Four Ground Zero? No, we can't. Okay, that's not going to work. Top Path Plane won't do enough damage. We did pop it. Are we allowed to wing monkey it? We are not. That would be like impossible. Uh, never miss targeting, no way. I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna do it just for you, but I'm, I'm calling it. No freaking way. No way. No way. Impossible.
I don't think this is going to do anything. It's really the, like, last spike. Okay. I'm going to go through the towers. I haven't really just thought about it for a second. Okay. So, I'm going to pretty much go with a it's not juggernaut kind of thing. But I guess it's worth it to just knock it out of the park here. Just say, okay, it's not this guy. So far, the closest we've been with is just getting lucky with the spike factory. Yeah, that pineapple's got a hit. It's luck. It's freaking RNG, bro. It's RNG. Or maybe not RNG. Maybe you got to do something stupid like this. How is that not in range? I, like, knew it. When I saw that it got down to greens that one time, I just knew it, you know. Well, at least we know I say I can't beat that. You know, at least we know we're that good. We're that godlike. You know, we beat a 1% challenge right there. 14% completion rate. I mean, not an impossibility. What about if, like, eight players beats it? All right. Where are we at now? Let's do something a little bit difficult. But, no, oh, I hate the. I hate that map. I don't know what it is about that map. It just, like, makes me upset. Can anybody on Twitch explain to me what the heck a channel point is? I don't know what they are. If you if you if you're up for it, could tell you. Don't know. Have no idea. All right, so we got fifty and fifty ones. So we don't have to deal with camos. Usually, my first thought is yeah, yeah. Oh. Interesting. All right. All right, I'm going to go with the plasma accelerator. That's what I'm going with. Ooh, we can't get it. Oh, I can't get it. I need lead popping power, too. Gotta have lead and bow up and camo detection. Yeah, it's just weird enough to work. They're regens too. Alright. They're all well, they're all regens? Yeah, I'll regrow. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Robert. That's nice. It's nice of you to say, my man. Alright, that could be it. It could be. I'm gonna throw it out there, maybe. Sticky bomb. I don't know. I don't really like sticky bomb. Sticky bomb doesn't seem like the right answer for this. It just, just doesn't seem like the right answer for this. For one life. Alright. Well, balloon area denial system. If, can we afford that? 
No, we can't. Poop. Poop! All right, Comanche D. Oh my god, don't tell me it's something stupid like Comanche defense. Ooh, we can't afford it. Do we make money for popping things? We do make money for popping things. You know what? It could... What was... What was the win rate on this? It was like 50%, wasn't it? It can't be that hard. 42%. 5% win rate. Okay, so it's not that hard. I'm thinking, I'm thinking ridiculous things. This is what I was thinking. We get a Moab shove here. We pop some leads. And then we get the uh, Comanche defense. Oh, I can't have camos yet, though. That would be an interesting challenge, though. Oh my god, this guy is just spamming. He's banned. Gone. Alright. Sharpshooter. It would be weird. For a sharpshooter to be the answer. For such little amounts of money. Okay, pop lets. What the heck? It couldn't... It couldn't be ground zero. You know what? I'm gonna go with it. I bet you it's the artillery battery. No camera detection. <laughs> Forgot about the camo problem. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Rocket storm. There it is. Uh, we'll get we'll get powerful darts, but I, it could be laser shock. That was really close. Uber close. Go! Okay, I'm not sure if this is the answer still, but um, that was way, 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 way better than the other stuff. Yes! Yes! Woo! Alright, I wonder now if that actually wasn't the answer. I'll give that one a thumbs up. 
but I am curious if there was another answer. Because I feel like that had to be the wrong answer. I just feel like it. I feel like... I don't know, man. Was it the wizard? Maybe. I also went with a non-cam detection wizard, I just realized. And I'm still winning. <laughs> I went with a non-cam detection wizard, and there it is. It was the freaking wizard the entire time. Look at that. Boom, shazoom. Look at that, I can't believe we can see the mobs like that. It's actually kind of wild. Oh, I did. I got a plushie, guys. I felt a little weird about not getting a plushie. I feel like, ah, oh, gotta support Edge Kiwi. You know, got it. Just gotta support Edge Kiwi. Um, actually, maybe it's not this. I mean, this is actually a little bit difficult here. Huh. Maybe it's not this guy. I'm gonna use it right away. Right away. Fast as I can. I already beat it once, but I felt like I should try to beat it again. Oh no, we're not gonna beat this. Oh no. GG. This was not the answer. No, I take that back. One more time. One more time. We're gonna try the wizard here. Oh crap, I got the wrong one. Last try. Uh, we did beat this one already. I I beat it with a uh, dartling gun. But I thought there. I thought this was gonna be the answer. You know what I can try? I can try something a smidge different. Alright, I give up. We did it with Darling Gun. I'm happy with that. That's that seems like a really hard one for 46% though. I don't I don't know. 46% I usually rock in my sleep, man. An interesting one rounder. Okay. Okay. 20k. How many monkeys? As many monkeys as we want. Oh my god, the mob at the end. We gotta get an insta kill, so we're gonna have to we need one of these guys. Boop, we can get one of those. Na oh yeah, they need to make a, an Adora plushie for sure. Or even Sada. I'd be okay with a Sada plushie, man. Heck yeah. Can even just get an Azili plushie and put an Adora skin on top of her. Just wrap her up. I don't know. Alright, and then we need something for ceramics. So I was thinking something like a... This guy. And maybe like an Ice Tower combination. Okay. Well, this Ice Tower is worthless. He's worthless. If I made my Ice Tower better, I probably could do it. Maybe over here. And I think I can afford this guy still. Alright, let's see if that works. His balloons are super fast. Ooh. Poo. Alright, we're gonna do the glue right there. Try one of those, and then I think uh, I still need one of these, and that might be enough. Did I really miss? 
crap. What the heck? It's just peeving me off, boys. It's peeving me off right now. I'm peeved. Well, we're really close with this. Once I get monkey power, so I'm gonna get more uh, more cannon damage, anyways. See that snipe? Oh, I didn't get monkey pirates. Uh, monkey pirates, go! Freaking narwhals, man. They're, just, they're really annoying. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> that was ridiculously tough for whatever reason. I don't know why. Well, I would say ridiculously tough, but tougher than it should have been for a 38 percenter. Oh, man. I guess it only took us about like six tries. That seems pretty fair. That seems pretty fair. Oh, cryo cannon. That was probably a good idea, man. I think cryo cannon probably was the answer. Like an easy answer. Cryo cannon is pretty boss these days. Pretty boss. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to end it for today. Thank you guys so, so, so much for hanging out and having fun. And thank you guys so much for the donations. Uh, today was a, a good night. Um, my throat's starting to bother me, so i got to end it for the day, guys. <clears throat> I don't know why it's bothering me, but it is. So, don't worry. If you missed it, you can go back and rewatch the entire stream, my friend. I will see you guys on the flip side and have a wonderful night. Good night, everybody.